Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Ahna Nafisa binti Muhammad. My metric number is 200355. Today I'm going to conduct an experiment about acid base reaction using universal indicator. So what is acid base titration? Acid base titration is a way determining how much acid or base is present in solution by determining the precise volume of acid or base that will completely react with it. The objectives in this experiment are to demonstrate the basic laboratory technique of titration, to study acid-based titration using chemicals that can be found at home, and to determine the volume of titrant used to neutralize the analyte. By performing an experiment, the code, googles, and gloves are the basic PPE needed when handle the chemical. So, let's do the experiment. The apparatus that I'll be using in this experiment are beaker, proper, and measuring cylinder. And for the chemicals that I'll be using in this experiment are vinegar, detergent powder, and universal indicator. Step 1. Prepare one acid solution and alkaline solution as the titrant and analyte. Measure 10 ml of tap water into a beaker. Add 1 tablespoon of vinegar into the beaker, then add 5 drops of universal indicator. Stir and observe. Put 1 teaspoon of detergent powder into another beaker. Add 30 ml of tap water, then add 5 drops of universal indicator. Swirl and observe. As we can see, for the vinegar solution, the color change from the colorless solution to red solution. So, the pH is pH2 and this is strong acid. For the base solution, which is soap solution, the color change from cloudy solution to purple solution. From the chart, the number is 11. So, the pH is 11 and this is strong alkali. For the next step, the titration involves performing a reaction between titrant and analyte. So here, the titrant is alkaline solution which is soap solution and analyte is vinegar, acid solution. Set an initial volume of a titrant which is 50 ml and measure it. Add the soap solution drop by drop into the acid solution by, by using a dropper as a substitute of the burette. Swirl the beaker constantly. Stop as soon as possible when the permanent pale green color appears. This is end point. Measure the unused of titan solution and record the reading. When reach the equivalent point, the red solution of anilat turns to pale green solution. Based on the pH color chart, the pH is 5 and this is weak acid. Titrations, we can recognize the equivalent point by using something called indicator. This is a substance that will turn a vivid color once the equivalent point has been reached. When we neutralize a strong acid with a strong base, the, equ the equivalent point will be 7. When we continuously adding the titrant after reach the end point, another color changes occur. This is what we call over titration. Based on the color chart, the pH, the pH is 8 and this is weak alkaline. Next, calculate the volume of titrant used by using formula initial volume of titrant minus final volume of titrant equal to volume of titrant used. So, in this experiment, initial volume of titrant is 50 ml minus final volume of titrant which is 0 ml and we get 50 ml volume of titrant used. The titration curve for an acid solution, pH is plotted against the volume of base that is progressively added. As we add, as we add base, the pH slowly rises and sharply rises towards the equivalent point. This is the point where the amount of base added is enough to completely neutralize the acid solution. There are some precautions that in this experiment. Number one, keep an eye level with the liquid surface while measuring. Number two, always rinse the burette or dropper with the solution. So that's all for me. You can try to do this experiment at your home too. Bye.